Thank you for choosing Synergy SE Series 3 Phase on Grid PV Inverter. This is a new generation of PV inverters that incorporate the values of high efficiency, convenience, and reliability. In this video, we will have a brief introduction to Synergy inverter installation, commissioning, and basic troubleshooting. Have the following tools available prior to beginning installation. Open the packaging with the utility knife and take out the inverter and its accessories. Follow the placing requirements to install the inverter in a proper location that has shelter to avoid direct exposure to sun, rain and snow and thereby extend the product service life. Take out the rear panel, three pieces of M12 screw bolts, three pieces of M12 screw nuts, and three pieces of washers from the packing case. Check whether the rear panel can be mated with the support. If not, locate appropriate drilling holes and mark them with a 2B pencil. Drill the holes. Tighten the rear panel on the support using the adjustable wrench to a torque of 45 Nm. Hang the inverter on the support. Do not forget to tighten the two hexagon screws at the bottom of the inverter. Ensure that the DC switch is set to off. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from the yellow-green earth wire using the wire strippers. Crimp the earth wire into the OT terminals using the crimping pliers. Remove the cross screw on the inverter with the Phillips screwdriver. Route the screws through the OT terminal and tighten it firmly with the Allen wrench. Remove the AC cable board using the socket wrench. Remove an appropriate length of the jacket and insulation layer from the AC output cable and then remove insulation from each of the inner wires using a wire stripper. Pass the exposed wire cores through the waterproof connector and crimp them to the OT terminals using the crimping pliers. Wrap the crimped wire areas with heat shrink tubing. Loosen the screw locks on the bottom of the chassis door manually or using the Phillips screwdriver and pull out the AC terminal plate. Remove the screws on the AC terminal plate using the Phillips screwdriver. Attach and tighten AC output cable wires using the Phillips screwdriver. Push the AC terminal plate back into place and tighten the locking screws manually or using the Phillips screwdriver. Tighten the cable holders and use a wrench to firmly tighten the waterproof cable connector. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from wires of the DC input power cables using a wire stripper. Insert the exposed area of the DC input cable wires into the metal terminals of the positive and negative connectors respectively and crimp them using the crimping pliers. Measure the current with a multimeter to ensure that the current of all DC terminals is within the normal range. Insert the crimped positive and negative power cables into the corresponding positive and negative connectors. Tighten the waterproof nuts using tightening tool. And finally, connect the AC output power cable and the positive and negative DC input connectors with the corresponding terminals of the inverter. Manually attach the Bluetooth antenna. Install the GPRS module with the antenna onto the enclosure of the inverter. 
Tightening the locking screw with a Phillips screwdriver. Connect the cable with the USB port of the inverter and tighten it into place. Insert the Wi-Fi module directly into the USB port. Turn the DC power switch so that the inverter is powered on and the LED display screen activates. Open Set Touch app and choose Local Data, Scan New Device, and select Sebel to connect device. View real-time meters and status. Click Maintenance button to view maintenance information. Click Settings button to view all settings. Set up your Wi-Fi name and password. Click Modbus item for Modbus address setup. Click Binding the Cloud Account to bind the inverter to your account. Click Standard Code to view all standard codes for different countries. Set up reconnected time. Set up voltage loss level. Log in to the Set Touch Cloud app with your account. View Inverter Power Generation Chart with Day, Month, Year Format. View inverter parameters. View inverter log. Please contact us if you have any questions about your Synergy PV inverter.